welcome to Pick and Mix. Yes, it's up first because it is a review of the uh, Battle Royale quarterfinals. And will it be exciting today? Um, but that's when Dave, when Dave's ready later. So first today is Pick and Mix. And we're going to take a wander down the sidewalk, which means we'll be looking at a top 10 from America. And this time it is the 2nd of May, 1959. Now, in 1959, the 2nd of May was a Saturday. Also, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. And if you're of a certain age, happy retirement. Yes, I'm not saying what year it is, but uh, there'll be a few people, I'm sure, retiring on this day. Wasn't a leap year in 1959, but the President of the United States was Dwight D. Eisenhower. You were born in 1959, you're part of the baby boom generation. Uh, your star sign is Taurus the Bull, and the Chinese zodiac was Year of the Pig. So I went through the birthdays, and there's no significant birthdays in 1959 so we've had to look other so we're going to start off with a sort of a heavenly one and we're going back to 1892 and on that day 7th of may a certain manfred von richterhofen was born but we knew him as the red baron the german fighter ace he was born in poland actually and didn't survive the uh, war he was Wounded in 21st of April 1918, so he got killed just before the end of First World War, and he was flying over Morlancourt Ridge, which is on the Somme River. So um, we're going to move to some birthdays today. 1972. Birthday today for Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. Is a actor producer and of course as the rock he was a uh, he started off in the WCW moved over to the WWE and won quite a few belts also today born in 1975 football legend David Beckham so it's happy birthday to Beckham hundred and 15 caps for England, 58 as captain. Played for, of course, Man United, Real Madrid, AC Milan, Paris Saint-Germain, LA Galaxy. And he now is owner of, well, he's into Miami and uh, does a share in Salford City. So they're the birthdays. So, history. Well... We've got uh, an interesting one from 1887. Hannibal Goodwin. Now, the name won't ring a bell, but what he patented does, the celluloid photographic film, which is used in Thomas Edison's kinescope. Yeah, that's, that was painted on this day in 1887. 1997, Groovy Baby. Austin Powers makes his <laughs> debut at the cinema. And there were three films, uh, really funny. And 2022. Now, it's quite ironic because last night he got knocked out of the World Championship, so he won't be uh, going for his eighth. But in 2022, he equaled the seventh, equaling the world record for his seventh World Championship when he beat. Judd Trump, 1813. So, uh, that's what's happening in the world. But we're, we're all going to concentrate now on what was happening on the 2nd of May, 1959 in America. And their top 10 singles. So, here we go. Coming at number 10, there was a non-mover this week. And it's called Turn Me Loose by Fabian. Now, this song was actually written by Doc Pomus uh, for Fabian, and 
it was the Fabian's first hit record. It got to number nine on the on the chart in '59. But I remember it more for David Essex because he did it on his Rock On album. Um, I'd only heard the David uh, Essex version, and uh, and I like I didn't realise it was a cover. <laughs> but there you go. Uh, but yeah, I prefer that version to Fabian's. At number nine, uh, down at six places, uh, Venus, Frankie Avalon. A former number one for Frankie Avalon on its way down the charts. Uh, and this managed to get to number 16 here in the UK. Um, my mum loved this. It was in her pocket for some singles. Um, but not, oh, he was never a great fan of this. Okay, at number eight, we have a non-mover. Tell him no. Travis and Bob. Now, this is where this peaked. It was never released in the UK. And that's probably why I'd never heard the song. But I just thought it sounded more like a poor man's Everly Brothers. Not very keen on it, to be quite honest. Okay, number seven. A nun mover for Elvis Presley. I need you tonight. Now, this is a very strange one because it it was on... It's a double A side, but it was on the B side of another song. Very confusing. Uh, but this got to number four in the UK as and the US. It was a former number one. So I love this song by Elvis. One of the ones that gets forgetting about. Um, at number six, down four. Another Elvis Presley song. It's the other side. Because in the UK it got released as a double A side. Um, and it's now and then there's a fool such as I. Uh, number one in the UK. And this got to number two. It was on its way down. I love this song as well. I love the deep voices on this. It's really good. Okay, number five. We have another number mover. Now it's a track that everybody knows. It's called Guitar Boogie Shuffle. Uh, it's called by the Virtues, not the Benches, the Virtues. Now, it was actually first recorded back in 1945 by Arthur Guitar Boogie Smith. Uh, this is the highest it got on the charts, and the Yardbirds have done a version of this. Now, it's one of these songs that never got released as a single in the UK. But everybody knows it. I mean, the Yardbirds done it. But uh, as from a family of guitar players, they all know this one. Even though it was not released in this country, uh, it is a very popular tune, and I, I like it as well. It's a great track. Okay, number four, we had another numb mover. A lot of numb movers this week. Um, it's a song called Pink Shoelaces by Dodie Stevens. This peaked at number three here, in, oh, not here, in the United States. Never released over here. Now, this is another song I'd never heard until I played it a few weeks ago. It's okay. It's quite a funny song. It's about a man that had some peculiar dress hand sense. Um, it's not a bad single, actually. Okay, coming in at number three, up six places. For the Impalas, and sorry I ran all the way home, on its way up to the number two where it peaked on the billboard, and it managed to get to number 28 here in the UK. Now, I do know this song. Um, I'd say this is like one of the original sort of boy bands. Uh, great, that great little tune, I do know this one. So, up two. Up, uh, number two, up four, sorry. The Happy Organ, which... I have to, yeah, I'm sorry, it's my um, dirty mind working over time. Dave, Dave Baby Cortez, on its way up to number one. And it would be next week's number one, actually. And it didn't chart over here. Now, the thing is, I've heard this tune and I didn't realise who'd done it. Uh, it's quite quirky. 
But the no number one, and it was his fourth of four weeks, it's a song called Come Softly to Me, the Fleetwoods. Also, number one in Canada, and it got to number six here. Yeah, I know this song. It's a great little song from the 50s. I love the harmonies on it. It's a quirky little song. Um, really good song to end this week on. So there we go. Um, that is the top ten singles from 1959, 2nd of May in the United States. And I'll just mention that someone put a rather rude comment about doing uh, charts from the 50s. And the simple answer is, I don't dictate that. It's what it's history. I have to go what it says in the history books, don't I? So there we go. So that's all for this one. Um, I'll be back a bit later with Dave to do a quarterfinal review of Battle Royale. And then we've got some exciting news about the last tie. I wonder what it is. So I will see you for that later. Bye for now.